Today, we will be making delicious pierogies. So, first off, we're going to be making the dough. Now, there are some things that you need to know about the dough. For instance, there's only two ingredients. Now, that may seem simple, but there are some steps that you have to follow. Like, to make sure that everything is together. Make sure that your two ingredients are together. And one ingredient is sour cream, and the other ingredient is flour. Now, you've got to make sure that you stir it very well, because you don't want anything sticking to the sides, and you want to make a, a ball. You want to make a ball. And that is uh, the ball of dough that I've made. And um, then you have to make let it rest. And uh, I'm letting it rest. And uh, while I do the other ingredients, and uh, you gotta make sure that it's covered so that it doesn't dry out. And uh, make sure that you completely cover it up. Um, now it's done. I can roll it out, and um, I can uh, make small circles. Alright, now it's time to make the filling. Now, you're going to need potatoes for this, and you're going to have to peel the potatoes as well. you got to make sure that you have no skins inside the filling. So, what you got to do is you got to really make sure you peel those potatoes. You also have to take out some of the eyes as well. Um, and you want to make sure that they're really good potatoes, because only the best quality ingredients go into the pierogies that I make. got to really make sure that you peel those potatoes. Anyway, now that they're done, you can put them in a pot of boiling water and boil them off. Um, then after, um, you can uh, add some butter to a pan to cook off for some onions. These are the onions in the pan, you want to chop them up um, into little cubes so that you can kind of have an easier time integrating them with all the other ingredients. You can also add some salt and some pepper to give them a little bit more kick when they go into the pierogi. I find that it brings out a little bit more flavor. And um, also, we're adding cheese to this because um, I find that gives it a nice kind of flavor. And uh, our filling actually becomes orange because there's a lot of cheese put into the pierogies. So it's actually rather tasty. And um, you, all, you want to put it in a, like a warm pot and you want to put them all together. And you kind of want to mix all these ingredients together by mashing them. And you can actually see some of that pepper that we added in the Now all you gotta do is mash this together and you gotta make sure that everything, and I mean everything, is together. And there we go. Everything's together. You can see it's kind of boring. Alright, last step, and this is actually making the pierogies. We are actually making the pierogies now, and uh, it's actually rather easy once you get to know the uh, process. So you take your little circle there of uh, dough, and you get your little uh, ball of filling, and you make it into a little tiny ball, you put it in the middle, you fold up your pierogi, and then you pinch in the middle, and you pinch around the sides. You want to make sure that this doesn't come apart, because when you're cooking it, you definitely don't want it coming apart, or else they'll be filling everywhere. It's very problematic. Then you're just going to boil the pierogies. You're going to put them in the hot water, wait until they rise, and then cook them for seven minutes. That's a very important step, because then you can make sure that they're cooked completely through. Also make sure that they don't stick to the bottom of the pot, because that's also a problem. Like I said, you want to cook them for 7 minutes. And then once they're done, you can put them in a slow cooker with some butter. I find that like gives them a little bit more extra buttery flavor, the buttery goodness. Um, what you could also do is after that step, you could enjoy them. Or you could also fry them in a little bit of butter. And I mean, you could also enjoy some bacon on them if you want. Um, but with these pierogies, I, I haven't uh, put any bacon on them at all. And, um, I'm going to be possibly frying them with butter, and uh, I hope you enjoy the pierogies.
Drop the bass.